Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Amaya Vijay Singh, and with me in the studio today, I have two gentlemen who represent a very important film and a very important movement that has started up in Sri Lanka during the past year. And they are the two very familiar faces to you. And this film that they did is something that has had a huge cultural and spiritual impact on the entire population of Sri Lanka because I am speaking today about the film Siddhartha Gautama, the portrayal of the uh, years that the Lord Buddha spent in the palace as well as the decision that he made to leave the palace for the greater good of humanity and that is something that has touched I think anyone who has seen that film has felt that their spirit has been touched. And this is something that has transcended so many barriers, even cultures, religions. We as Sri Lankans have embraced this movie and embraced the message that was given out by this film. So with me today, I have the main actor who portrayed the role of Siddhartha Gautama, Mr. Gagan Malik. Welcome to the show. Hi, Bhuvan. Namaste. <laughs> and you have been here on the show before as well. Yes, this is my second time second time yeah. and you're here for a very important announcement but yes. we'll get to that very soon yeah. and I'd also like to welcome Mr. Navin Gunaratna who is the honorary chairman of the Light of Asia Foundation. That's right. Uh, Mr. Malik if you would like to of tell course, everyone what you came mm -hmm. here to say today. As I have uh, spoken even in the last interview about our lotus world we are just forming an uh, forming a family you can say or forming a organization you can say the name of the organization is Lotus World it's a family to bring everyone on the same platform a common platform but to join that Lotus World you need to follow certain principles which will bring love peace and uh, happiness all over the world and uh, those three pillars are first one is goodness and three mm -hmm. principles under goodness they are right speech right actions and right livelihood. The second one is friendship. We have to have that feeling of helping others, being friend with everyone. And the third one is mindfulness. We have to have inner peace, right concentration. And that is for that meditation is very important and you have to follow that also. So these are the major principles which you have to follow to be a member of Lotus World. Tell us something more about Lotus World. Is it a community or is, do you have to meet often? What is the process behind this concept? Yes, uh, the basic concept is, see, you, you, you see there are a lot of wars, a lot of fights everywhere. Of and people are losing their concentration. Mm -hmm. There's no peace all over. Just to make this world a single family, to develop the feeling of helping others in every human being, we are forming this Lotus Circle. Whenever you help someone, mm -hmm. even on the road, you give food to a beggar, you help someone in terms of money, in terms of clothes, in terms of books, in any way, you really feel a immense happiness inside you because your soul will feel that happiness. So I want to develop that feeling so that everyone in Sri Lanka have that spirit of helping each other. Once they have that kind of a spirit, mm -hmm. then this Sri Lanka will be like a family, a one single family. And that family one day will become, the whole world will become one family. In Sri Lanka, if they follow this Lotus World's principle and they join this Lotus World, nobody will feel, nobody will feel alone. Mm -hmm. They will have a member, they will have a family of, I think, millions of members. This is what I believe and I hope the day will come then you can see happiness all over. There will be no war, no fights, it's peace and happiness all over. It will be a great movement in the world but it will start from Sri Lanka sure. because he is the one who did it for Sri Lanka because there are many producers throughout the world who are trying to make movies on Lord Buddha but nobody is successful. Yes. He is the first one who is successful. <laughs> we are lucky to be associated with Mr. Naveen Gunaratne. Who, who, who got uh, successful in spreading the message of love, peace and harmony throughout the world. And we, we don't want to stop this movement. Mm -hmm. We want to spread it as soon as possible. I just want to tell all the youths and even all the citizens of Sri Lanka that if you take my example, I always wanted to be a superstar in my life. Always want to be a superstar mm -hmm. before starting this movie. But as soon as 
I did this, I finished this movie, when I saw it, I realized it. What I want in my life? What do I want? Do I want money? Do, do I want houses? What do I want? Prince Siddhartha, having all the luxuries in his life, mm -hmm. wealth, not, means he got, he used to have everything. Yeah. But he left everything for humanity and became so poor. But in the end, he became the richest man on the earth till now. Yes, of course. And his legacy has lived on for 2,600 years. Yes. So, that transformed me totally. I don't want to be a superstar. It's stuck in my mind. I must do something at least because God gave me a chance to at least play this character. Mm -hmm. That is enough for me. You know, it, it made me realize, okay, you have a goal in your life. You don't have a goal to be a superstar. You have a goal to bring peace, love and harmony throughout the world through this movement. That is why we have started this movement. So this film, I mean, not only for you, Mr. Malik, but for everyone in Sri Lanka, I think it has been a wake-up call Yes. to think, what am I doing with my life? Yes. And what can I actually do for people around me? Instead yes. of going for a selfish motive yes. behind everything that you're yes. doing. Yes. So what has been the feedback, Mr. Gunaratna, for you? Especially? Yes, that's the main thing. Uh, when we started, this six years ago, mm -hmm we started to do a film on Prince Siddhartha up to enlightenment and we did it we did of course we took six long years it was a very very tough task to get to this point of releasing a film mm -hmm. of this magnitude uh, with a lot of sensitive areas to be uh, approved by the Mahasangha and we have done it so now after releasing the film we came to see many people coming back to us saying this is not a film this is not a film we have gone once twice thrice and we can go and see it over and over again so i asked why do you go i mean okay we can go twice and see what no it has a message it transforms our inside and we become different people mm -hmm. we feel different to what we were when we went in so that transformation took place within a matter of two hours. Of so then we realized this uh, film is not really a film. It has a message. And the people who saw the film are not Buddhists. There were Buddhists, Christians, all from all parts. I mean, even when I met the uh, ambassador from Iran, oh, and he had seen the film and I saw a statement he made. He said this film should be seen by all humanity. The ambassador from Iran. And I saw, I met nuns who have seen this film. Mm -hmm. They said it touched them. I met, met so many people from all walks of life. So I knew when Gagan came back to me and said, let's do something. I don't want to be a superstar. I want to do something and want to get more involved. Mm -hmm. And we'll, let's take this message to them. We've done our part in doing the film. Mm -hmm. Now there's a bigger, bigger challenge to take a message. He has brought forward the concept of Lotus World, a community, a brotherhood, a, a sort of way of living that really brings about the principles of being human and helping each other and forgetting about the selfish notions in life and thinking about the greater good of our community and the world around us. So you spoke about, uh, Mr. Malik, you spoke about the principle of friendship yes. that is there in this particular community. So how do you uh, imagine that people can help each other through this uh, Lotus work? This will only happen once we develop the feeling of helping others. Yes. We have to develop that feeling. Mm -hmm. For that, you need that mindfulness, you need inner peace, you need some meditation. You develop that feeling you know when you do a meditation meditation is really powerful mm. once we make a single lotus world you know single family a common platform without any cars all breaking all the barriers of caste color religion anything then it will be a total different sri lanka nobody will be in a problem once when you feel okay i have a family who will help me in any crisis will you be sad no you'll be happy throughout this is my aim and I want to do it. I'm, I'm very uh, 
I have a very strong belief that I will be able to do it. I am here for a mission. That is why I have did this role. That is why this man from around, he took 300 auditions. And he never asked me a question about acting when he auditioned me for the first time. Really? Only asking about my family, my background, how do I am non-vegetarian, do I smoke, all those kind of things. There is a reason why I got selected out of millions and billions of people in the world. There must be a reason. And I have realized it. And there is a reason. That is why I got selected. To make this Lotus World happen. You have to control your desire also. Okay. It is said that you, you don't desire for anything. But at least if you have some desire, control it. You have to be satisfied with what you have got. Mm -hmm. Now, after joining it, you said, okay, I have a family, now I will do this, I want to earn more millions, more millions. No. At a certain point, you have to think of happiness. Are you happy? Are you peaceful? Doing meditation, you have a nice family, your family is happy, that is what you need. If you desire for more money and you become greedy, then again, you are changing the, same the track. Cycle. Same yes. cycle. Yes. Yes. You know? Mm. So you have to be satisfied with what you have. As soon as you reach that point, stay there. Yes. How you can reorganize your life and reprioritize to give uh, importance to what should be given importance, Mr. Gunaratna. So could you elaborate? Yeah, I think uh, basically we are unfortunately following, I think, the wrong model which mm -hmm. we have got from outside. So if you go back to our roots, I think the main ingredient we had was cooperation. In times back, we had yes. everybody lived Even as one in family. The paddy fields yeah. and in the yes, yes, in the village, yeah. you would have seen it, which we don't probably hardly see today. Mm -hmm. so everyone was working as one family. It's a corporate thing. Today, the world has changed to a competitive world, which is not from here. We are. We are following some other model mm -hmm. that is foreign to us. And I don't think the competitive model that we are following is the answer. Competitive model will have some winners, but there will be many, many losers. And what do we do for the losers? So in, in a cooperative model, we will have no winners, nor will we have any losers. So we will have everybody. Those who have will help the have-nots. And uh, I think it will be a very balanced way of life. My priority is Lotus World right now, nothing else. Wow, this is an amazing commitment that you are making and that the Light of Asia Foundation is making. There is a reason why Sri Lanka, why not any other country for this story to start a Lotus World, why from Sri Lanka? Because there is a reason. Yes. I'm. Sri Lankans, they have it. They have it in them. And we we so must much. thank you all. Yes, <laughs> yes. for inviting us and I know Mr. Raja Mahendran, he was my classmate in school. <laughs> oh, I see. So he's a tremendous personality who, who works with total commitment to what he believes.